I just noticed a surge in comments about possible collaboration with Jace 2 Sense. A lot of comments. In Jace 2 Sense most recent video, he mentions that he wants to do a collaboration with you. Apparently, he wants to learn how to solder properly. You know, this would be awesome. Hey, kind of off topic, please teach Jace 2 Sense how to solder correctly. Jay from Jace 2 Sense wants to do a vid with you. Reach out to him and the link. Please help Jace 2 Sense. He needs it. And the comments go on and on and on. Here we have a link with a timestamp. I'll click on that link. Jace 2 Sense says he would love to do a collab with you and the link in order to learn how to solder correctly. Let's click on the link. Oh, by the way, if you guys watch, North, watch Northridge Fix, he's local. I would absolutely love to do a collab video with him where he teaches me the right way to do something. So you guys should all go tell Northridge Fix like, hey, Jay really wants to learn how to solder correctly. And he sells all that stuff, so I want, I want to buy it all. But anyway, moving on, we are talking about retention tab. I will most definitely reach out to Jay and set up a collab date. Let me know what you would like to see. Obviously, it's going to be about soldering. And I did listen to what Jay had to say in this video. It looks like he's talking about gigabyte cracking video cards. I went over this very same topic one year ago. I talked about this very same topic where a customer came over to us with two cards, a 3080 and a 3090. And both of them had warranty refused on them. If you look at both cards, the sticker is in exactly the same position on both cards. Here and here. So whatever is happening here and whatever is happening here is voiding warranty. Let's take a look. And look at this. I do see possibly a slight crack here. I would have overlooked this if Gigabyte did not point an arrow onto it. Why is it that the second card has exactly the same issue in exactly the same spot? And this one is already scratched. Look at this. It's already scratched. We do see a line here. That's possibly going like this. What's mind boggling is Gigabyte looked in this one specific area. It's like they already know that their cards will crack or will have that line on the side of the board. Why did Gigabyte refuse warranty? I do not understand this. I do not even understand why the line occurred in the same exact spot on both cards. The customer had the cards for six months and he said that he used the cards very lightly. One day, the cards stopped outputting an image onto the screen. So the card being six months old, the customer sent both cards, the 3080 and 3090 over to Gigabyte. And after a while, after a month, Gigabyte mailed the cards back, refusing warranty. And Gigabyte had stickers on the cards right here with an arrow pointing to this area of the board on both cards. Exactly the same sticker, exactly the same direction of the arrow to exactly the same spot on both cards and the customer brought the cards over to us and he said that he spent a lot of money on the cards gigabyte refused his warranty and one year ago graphics cards were expensive they're still expensive but back then they were even more expensive and the customer was devastated and hoping that we can do something for him both cards had stickers in the same position pointing to the same hairline crack and honestly if it wasn't for the stickers that were posted right here i would have overlooked that hairline crack and I would not have noticed that we had the hairline crack right here. If you watch the video, I'll leave a link down below. At that time, I did not know that a hairline crack means that we have underlying issues, more issues within layers of the board. I thought a hairline crack would indicate that we have a problem with the surface. I scratched the surface to measure if we had a continuous path between the bottom and top, and we did have a continuous path between bottom and the top. But I did not realize that it's a deeper issue. issue lying within layers of the board. It looks like a lot of important lines are passing through this very fragile area of the board. And once that board cracks just a tiny bit, it affects the lines running within the layers of the board. So I was not able to help out the customer. It's neither practical nor economical to fix such a problem. The customer asked if I can give him a note or write down my notes of what I found out about the card. He wanna pursue, he want to file a lawsuit against Gigabyte and he wants something from me stating what I found out with the card. And at that time, a year ago, I did advise people against Gigabyte. Gigabyte always tries to find a way to avoid warranty. You spend a lot of money buying their cards and 
without this being your fault, the card fails and Gigabyte refuses warranty. I'm glad that JC Sense and Lewis Rossman are talking about this topic again. People need to be aware that Gigabyte are not honoring their warranties as of now. Maybe that could change in the future. Maybe a combination of JC Sense, Lewis Rossman, my video, or whoever did videos on this topic can bring onto a change. Maybe Gigabyte will change in the future, but as of now, I would avoid Gigabyte at all cost and would only buy their card if I had no other option. Just keep in mind, you're going to spend a lot of money on their card and the card may fail and they're not going to honor warranty. They're going to find a way not to honor their warranty. That's not only me saying this, just go online and search. Look at the thousands of people who had the same exact problem in the same exact position right here where Gigabyte refused warranty because of physical damage, because of a user error. This is 100% a Gigabyte problem and not a user problem. So I just wanted to go over this. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video. And I will reach out to Jay, set up a collaboration date. I do not know when, but we'll make it happen. Let me know what you would like to see in the collaboration, anything about soldering, and I will see you again in the next video.